PPE requirements are determined by the toxicity and formulation of the pesticide, as well as the activity you're performing. Remember in Chapter 5 on hazards that you can reduce hazard by reducing exposure. Since some pesticide handling activities increase the chance of exposure, the label may require more PPE at times to reduce the overall hazard. Mixing and loading are some of the most hazardous, if not the most hazardous activities and require the most personal protective equipment. So read the label. It states the minimum PPE requirements. There may be certain requirements for handlers who are mixer loaders, other requirements for applicators, and even another set for early entry agricultural workers. When it comes to PPE, you can always exceed the label requirements. You can wear more than is required. The label clearly states whether PPE needs to be chemical resistant. Let's review what chemical resistance means. Chemical resistant PPE material prevents most chemicals from reaching the skin. You must protect from dermal exposure. There are many different types of chemical resistant materials including butyl and nitrile rubber, PVC plastic, and non-woven coated fabrics. Due to the different toxicities and formulations of products on the market, different labels require different levels of protection. The label may require chemical resistant gloves, hat, boots, and coveralls, or even a rain suit. When chemical resistant materials degrade, they stop providing protection. If your gloves change color or become spongy, brittle, swollen, jelly-like, or crack, you need to replace them immediately. Gloves are cheap, especially when compared to your health and safety. Replace your gloves often. Cotton, denim, and leather gloves, hats, and boots are not chemical resistant, and they actually absorb pesticides. Although work clothing made from these materials is much more comfortable, it shouldn't be worn when making applications. Save your leather work boots and cotton ball cap for when you're not working around pesticides.